everyone, I'm Gabriela Fresquez, and welcome to the show that connects you to all of the great news and events that are happening in our city. Long Beach Connect. Here we go. At a recent press conference, the city manager and Mayor Garcia gave us a first look at what's inside the proposed fiscal year 2018 budget. Our cameras were there, so take a look at this first story to get an idea of what's inside the budget and how you can get involved in the process. On Monday, July 31st, Mayor Robert Garcia and City Manager Pat West released a proposed $2.6 billion budget for 2018, which will now be reviewed and amended by the community and City Council prior to its adoption by City Council by September. This budget actually has more funding for public safety and for infrastructure than any budget in the last two decades. And so we are, uh, because of support from the voters, investing more in our street and infrastructure network than we have in a generation and we're actually hiring police and firefighters uh, in numbers that we haven't seen in over a decade as well. During the presentation the mayor presented a new master infrastructure plan that was developed using a data-driven approach to identify how and where Measure A funds will be spent to improve streets and public buildings throughout the entire city. Other highlights noted the addition of police and fire safety staff including the additional 20 officers assigned to patrol the Metro Blue Line, doubling the number of clean teams from two to four to keep streets and alleys clean of blight and debris, keeping libraries open on Sundays, providing additional funding for animal care services, and the strong economic development taking place throughout the city. To close the presentation, City Manager Pat West providing an outlook for future funding priorities and challenges, and encourages residents to participate in the budget process by attending public meetings or commenting online. There's a lot of opportunity for community engagement and I want to go over that for a moment. Of course you can attend the budget hearings, you can attend community budget meetings, you can attend the budget oversight committee meetings at City Council or watch them on the internet, you can participate in City of Long Beach surveys on funding priorities and we have those in the budget booklet that we'll be handing out. You can also use Open Long Beach to explore the proposed budget visibility. To see the full presentation online, go to lbtv3.com. And to see a list of upcoming public meetings, go to longbeach.gov. You might have noticed the new murals that have gone up on walls all over Long Beach. This amazing artwork is a result of the annual Pow Wow Art Festival. Check out this next story to see how it all came together. This year's third Pow Wow Long Beach Art Festival brought together another eclectic team of artists from all over the world, including numerous Long Beach based muralists, to once again share their vision in art with our city. The new 19 murals located throughout the city are now part of the 52 murals that now call Long Beach home. I feel honored. I feel like uh, being able to uh, paint this mural has been like a really big uh, stepping stone for me and to be here, be new to the community, it feels like uh, almost like my own type of welcoming to Long Beach. Mural projects like this fit more into like a pedestrian community oriented type of city versus a city where you're driving around in cars. It's, it's cool because there's like people walking around actually interacting and walking up and looking at these murals as opposed to you know driving by them at 50 miles an hour. With the social media many people it's, it's like sharing your things in Instagram and Facebook and that's nice when you see when you see the people like it and, and, and you are far from, from there. That's a very nice thing. Public art is helping make Long Beach one of the most diverse and exciting cities in the United States. Pow Wow Long Beach is just one of many art events that take place every year. To get a list of all the events, visit artslb.org. So while Pow Wow comes through once a year, we've got lots of homegrown artists working in the city every day. Take a look at this next story to meet one of these artists who calls Long Beach his home.
Hi, I'm Guillermo Avalos. I live in Long Beach and I'm a professional muralist. This is my 46th mural. As any artist, as myself, uh, going big is always better. I've been painting murals professionally for 25 years. You could go to any uh, community center, either in different schools, uh, either in, in first district, second district, third district, eighth district, and you may run into one of my projects. These are art, artworks may be on a uh, electrical box that run the uh, turn signals, uh, but some of them are just either on in alleys. There's some of them are in very visible walls, and some of them are private. Also, uh, some of them are in very public areas. I started at the age of 14. I was mentored uh, through a program through the city of Long Beach, uh, through uh, the Parks and Recreation Department. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. My key importance in producing artwork is to really work with the young adults. I was just mainly the creative glue of this whole entire project. It was actually the kids who came upon and we transpired in making changes through all these, uh, through the designs as we painted along. This really gave them uh, uh, an essence that they were needed, uh, but also gave them great richness by knowing that their name's on this wall, and also that uh, they got to take part of something that's gonna be here for a very, very long time. I grew up in the first district, second district, by me moving up to North Long Beach and buying my home here um, and having the opportunity to also share uh, with the people who I live with, my neighbors, what I do uh, to beautify the area that I transit by, I drive by, I, I work, um, kind of makes me understand that it's a great place to live. Uh, I've been here for almost 36 years uh, and uh, this is where I call home. Live music, fire dancing, and more entertainment than you can shake a grass skirt at. We've got some great events coming to Long Beach this month. Take a look and mark your calendar. This August, Long Beach's annual free Tiki Beach Festival and Polynesian Spectacular will take place sunrise to sundown on Saturday, August 19th and Sunday, August 20th in Belmont Shore at Granada Beach. With live entertainment, an island marketplace, authentic Polynesian food, this is one event you don't want to miss. So this August, join the fun. For more information on all of Long Beach's summer activities, visit 100daysofsummer.org. Come down to the East Village on August 19th for Busker Fest. Music will fill the air as local and regional bands perform on four stages, busking for wooden nickels. Busker Fest is a good-natured annual competition that draws thousands of music fans down to cheer for their favorite acts and dance in the streets. The fun starts at 1st and Linden Avenue from 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. For more information on all of Long Beach's summer activities, visit 100daysofsummer.org. The Long Beach art scene is rich and vibrant. Check out this next story about a pop-up art scene that fully embraces and celebrates our city's diversity. Open spaces encourage collaboration and connectivity. Recently, the City of Long Beach Innovation Team, working with Work Evolution and the First Council District, put that idea to the test by transforming Harvey Milk Park into an open-air gallery and performance space. This is a closing of an 18-month long process of experimenting with different programming at Harvey Mill Park. Um, this is the first time the city of Long Beach really explores of what does it mean to co-create a public space. So through the Knight Foundation grant, we're able to put on original programming like this one, the Queer Art Pop-Up. Pop-Up organizers invited local artists to submit works that explored the term queer in a variety of mediums that showcase the queer experience, identity, and perspective. 
For me, it's being able to access um, my creativity, uh, being able to think outside of the box, so to speak, um, having the potential for new ways of thinking and being in my body. Um, it also encompasses my, my sexual orientation and my gender fluidity. Here in Long Beach, we're very special. Uh, we have the Harvey Milk Plaza Park. And as a queer artist, I find that activism and art is very much uh, interconnected. And Harvey Milk is one of my queer leaders. He did wonderful work. And we continue his legacy by providing the space for queer art. And as a pop-up, we're activating the space. Following the exhibit and performances, the Arts Council for Long Beach hosted an open conversation where artists and art advocates talked about art economies, professional development, economic innovations, and their own experiences. Well, I think that's a challenge for all artists, is um, trying to support themselves through their art, and that's a dream of all artists, is to be able to support themselves through their art. Um, in Long Beach, I would say even more so than um, LA, um, I've been able to be able to float myself with, with some of the artistic endeavors that I've been undertaking. And I really, I'm really appreciative of that of, uh, of Long Beach because they've been able to compensate me when I, when I play for the most part. The Harvey Milk Park Project Outdoor Collaborative concept is part of the city's broader economic development and IT efforts to connect people and institutions through more open, diverse, and inclusive public spaces for people to gather. What makes Harvey Mill Park really interesting is that it's a park with a purpose, right? So this programming really cultivates the spirit of the park and really speaks to the legacy of Harvey Milk. To learn more about the Harvey Milk Park project and full details on the art pop-up, visit InnovateLB.com forward slash showcase. There are always great things happening all over our city. While this show, Long Beach Connect, is one way to keep you informed, there are also many, many more. You can connect with the city of Long Beach over social media on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Flickr. You can also stay connected by heading directly to the city's website at longbeach.gov. And don't forget to check out LBTV, your award-winning local news and information station online at lbtv3.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon with more ways to keep you connected to Long Beach. I'm Gabriela Fresquez, and we'll see you next time.